organizing her shop, and look what she found! Old costumes from the talent show! We thought they'd come in handy in case we ever help a pony put on a play or need to make a quick escape disguised as clowns. Here you go, Big Mac. Whoa, that sure is a lot of apples. Are you making another delivery to Starlight's old village? Yep. That's an awful long way for a pony to go, isn't it? Yep. You've been going there a lot lately. What is this, your fifth trip this week? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, have fun. So, what other costumes did you bring, Sweetie Belle? Are you crazy? We can't talk about costumes at a time like this. Time like what? Your brother is hiding something. Did you see the way he was acting? Yeah, he totally blushed when you brought up how often he's been going to Starlight's old village. Something is definitely going on. There can only be one reason a pony would travel so far, so often. He's taking a lot of and problems. He wants to get away from a snail. <laughs> <laughs> My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Maybe he's a spy on a mission to thwart an evil villain with his secret weapon, an apple cannon. No, that's crazy. I think it's my broccoli thing. Why don't we just ask him? You saw how shifty he was acting earlier. There's no way he'll tell us what he's doing. Plus, I really want to go undercover. We already have costumes. Call me Agent Rainbowhead. I'll be shimmering spectacles, a librarian with a mysterious past. And I'll be a pirate spy. Arg, a spirit. <gasps> Avast! Our ship be leaving port. Huh? Big Mac's leaving. If we're gonna be spies, we gotta go now. <laughs> What? How? Who's that pony? Let me see. I don't know. I shouldn't have taken the binoculars. I don't know any pony here. That must be Sugar Bell. Applejack told me about her bakery. Obviously, she's just been ordering a lot of apples. So nothing fishy's going on. No way! We came here to be spies, and no spy I know has ever solved a case that quick. Mm, how many spies do you know? That's not important. What's important is that we do more recon. Follow my lead. Whoa, she sure lacks her apples. What is she doing? Making the biggest apple pie in Equestria? Thanks for coming all this way, Big Mac. <laughs> it sure is nice seeing you again so soon. Yep. <laughs> All I used to bake were boring old muffins. Thanks to your apple deliveries, I get to bake all kinds of delicious treats. Apple pies, apple fritters, apple turnovers, caramel apples, caramel apple cakes. <sighs> I just wish I had more room to display it all. My shelves only hold so much. I'm telling you, this pony really lacks her apples. 
<gasps> or Big Mac? Huh? Just look! Ooh. <laughs> Sweetie Belle, I, I think you're right. I think my brother has a crush! Big Mac! Now remember, my brother's super shy, so he's probably gonna be embarrassed about his crush. Just try and make him feel comfortable. Hey, Big Mac! It's me, Apple Bloom! Yup. We're here, We're here too! too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you a very personal question, and I want you to answer honestly. Do you have a crush on Sugar Bell? Yup. Well, that was easy. This is so exciting! My big brother has his very first crush! First crush? What about Cheerilee? It doesn't really count when you trick a pony into drinking a love potion, does it? Nope. My brother has a crush! My brother has a crush! My brother has a crush! Wait, does Sugar Bell even know you like her? Uh-uh. Then you gotta tell her! Oh, oh, uh, uh, We're pretty sure she likes you. I mean, she keeps ordering apples just so she can see you again. Uh, you think so? Totally! But you'll never know if you don't try! Okay. Go get her, Big Mac! <gasps> Hey, girl. <laughs> I was writing poetry by the pond when I saw these flowers. I thought I'd show them how pretty you are. Oh, thanks, Featherbanks. Um, is it possible to have two crushes at once? Because it looks like Big Mac may not be the only pony Sugar Bell likes. Home. You can't let that feather fella get in the way of your one true love. You've got to take him down. What can he do that you can't? That. Whoops. <laughs> These balls are like you. I'll always catch you if you fall. <sighs> Seriously? That line worked? She'll never pick me. Sure she will, because we're going to help you. No love potions. <laughs> Big Mac, we learned our lesson the hard way. Yeah, we're never gonna do that again. Besides, I know exactly what to do. When I was younger, I read all the fairy tales. When you were younger, huh? Well, I was younger on the way here. It was a long ride. Anyway, as long as we do what the book says, you're pretty much guaranteed a happy ending. Well, how about this one? Rescuing a damsel pony in distress. That's perfect. Of course, we'll have to improvise without a dragon. Huh. Too bad Spack isn't here. Not that he's very threatening. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we do? Wait around for Sugar Bell to get herself into a scary situation? Or we bring the danger to her. All right, Scootaloo's gonna pretend to take Sugar Bell's things, then you swoop in and stop her. Ready? Nope. Come on, you're gonna be her hero. In fairy tales, the knight in shining armor always gets the girl. Mm -hmm. Your sugar, sugar, though it is not as sweet <laughs> as you. <sighs> Thank you, Feather. That smooth talking pony stole our rescue, and it totally would have worked. 
Yep. We're just gonna have to keep trying. Big Mac, are you ready to take it up a notch? Oh, yep. Oh, nope. Trust us. There's nothing more romantic than waking your special pony from a sleeping spell with a magical kiss. See, they rode off into the sunset. <sighs> Any sign of feather bangs? Negative. Coast is clear. It's now or never, Big Mac. Um. working hard all day. Allow me to treat you like the princess. <laughs> you are. <laughs> hey! That's our metaphorical sunset they're riding off into! All right, this ends now. Featherbangs may have good timing and a good mane. But let's see him compete with a song. S say what now? Of course! Why didn't we think of it before? Every great love story hinges on the romantic musical number. Big Mac, you've got to write a song for Sugar Bell. Yep. Come on, Big Mac! Feather Bangs is so romantic. When he speaks, I pretend he's talking to me. <sighs> Come on! You can do better than him! Just like we practiced. We'll take a walk down by the river. Watch the sunset from the field. We'll plant the seeds of love together. Water them right for a really good yield. Sugar bell, sweet as pie. You're the apple of my eye. A cherry blossom in a field of rye. And when the heifer's milked and fed, and the pigs are in the sty, won't you be there by my side? A song that's as beautiful, I'd do anything That's irrefutable, cause you are the sun Painting my heart in the sky Whoa, oh. Sugar, sugar bell, whoa, oh When will you tell me that you feel the same? Like an angel on a candy cane Oh, the sunlight shining through a drain Sure Look in your eyes, <clears throat> I see the color blue, and it reminds me of the sky above, which is also blue. Hey, 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 yeah, be my sugar plum, I will be your watermelon. Every time you smile, I can feel my heart is swelling. Woo! Blood is rushing from my head to my hood, yeah. yeah. I start moving when I'm feeling that groove, yeah. I've been writing this song for you, searching for the perfect rhyme, for the words I want to say. Zum, 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 be mine. Sugar, 
out with Sugar Bell. We don't get it. Big grand gestures always work in the fairy tales. But Sugar Bell's not a fairy tale princess. She's a real pony. She's kind, and she works hard, and she's sweeter than everything in her bakery. That's it! We should have been thinking about what would mean a lot to Sugar Bell. Hmm. <gasps> I know just the thing. But I'm gonna need your help. Really? Even after we messed it up? Uh, yep. Come on! Recognize you, Phillies. Have they been with you this whole time? Mm. I'm Big Mac's little sister, and these are my friends. We're sorry for everything we put you through today, Sugar Bell. Big Mac never would have gone through with all of those crazy, over the top, downright ridiculous attempts to impress you if we hadn't put them up to it. But we learned our lesson. Romance isn't about impressing some pony. It's about doing something that means something special to that pony you love. <laughs> <clears throat> Lack a lot. Uh, Apple Bloom? I think they get it. <laughs> 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 
Sugar Bay. too late. Yeah, Sugar Bell's already picked her special sump pony. But don't worry, you've got three not-so-secret admirers right behind you. <sighs> uh, what should I say to them? Uh, you're asking us for advice? Mm-hmm. Look, I, I can main flip, write poetry, and juggle, but actually talking to a pony? Oh. It scares me almost as much as loneliness. Will you help me, please? Gee, I don't know about this. He just needs a little nudge in the conversation department. Besides, I don't think Big Mac's ready to leave just yet. Let's do it! Featherbangs, the cutie marker 